Dreamers everywhere. Welcome to the Julian Disney Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Andy Zilmerman. And I'm the other one of your hosts, Al Day. How you doing? I'm good. We're here with my husband. And I'm going to throw and... you with my crazy improv of how you doing. <laughs> yeah, it like, kind of threw me actually a little bit. Um, this is Ed, everyone, because we've talked about him millions and millions of times. And now he's going to be here with us. Successfully avoided the podcast for years. Yep. But he never... Um, hesitates to tell us what's wrong with it. To be fair, I don't even listen to the thing, so... How do you do it better? <laughs> Why are you doing it this way? <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. It's very. I was out of town all last week in Florida, not going to a Disney park. And uh, oh. I'm just... Yeah, why? I, I, was in, I was helping a university in Florida with a program review. So I was in Gainesville, Florida. Uh, I won't mention the university, yeah. but you could probably figure it out if you know anything about Florida. Uh, yeah, that's And my true, true crime oh, mind yeah. kept thinking, that I, I went, this is a thing I do when I go to towns. I figure out what serial killer was there, and then I research them, which really okay. helps me sleep in the hotels. Yeah. Great. That's awesome. Okay. Well, what about your it's Disney? Very Disney. You Disney? It's very Disney. It's very Disney. Oh, no, of course. But, oh, my God. Do I, go ahead. What? No, I was going to say you're in Gainesville, so you didn't go to Disney. So did you have any kind no. of Disney week then? No. Well, what I did was I uh, sat around and watched uh, Disney on YouTube from my bed and breakfast. Have you ever stayed in a bed and breakfast? Yeah. I have, this We're is my literally first a couple, staying... couple stay in bed and breakfast. <laughs> well, it's I am not a couple. <laughs> I am a single, and I stay in hotels. You know why? <laughs> Room service, <laughs> privacy. You don't have to pretend to like eggs every morning. How do you like your eggs? I don't really like yeah. eggs, but scrambled's okay, I guess. <laughs> what are you going to do today? Da, 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 da. You know what I like in hotels? Hello, Mr. Tappity Tappity Tap Day. Is there anything I can do for you? If you don't want to be bothered, bye. Yep. Okay. Fair so enough. I, Fair so enough. I stayed in the bed and breakfast as my introverted self. And I sat around and I watched, uh, uh, what, uh, oh, how come I can't, I can't remember what my brain is. I sat around and watched Disney Plus. Um, okay. I was catching up on the, and it was funny because I was supposed to be there to help a university. I was working 12 hour days. And all I could think of is while I'm traveling, the new She-Hulk episode is coming out and I really want to watch it. So I just sat around and, and watched episodes of She-Hulk, which is a really good show if you haven't watched Wait, it. Wait, did you finish it? Did you get to the last episode? Yeah. Well, the last episode came out like my last day in Florida. And so I was worried that my that the, the not robust Wi-Fi in the uh, bed and breakfast wasn't going to be able to come through. So I, I watched it over my cellular uh, uh, network. Yeah, it was awesome. So you finished it. I was, we were blown away. By it was the, so good. Yeah. Blown away. Yeah, it was really good. So yeah. good, that yeah. last episode. I can't even tell you because we'd be spoiling things. But if you are a fan of the show, can I say that part? If you're a fan of the Hulk and the and, 70s. In all honesty, if you're a fan of 1980s John Byrne era She-Hulk comics, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, and that too. Okay, that too. I just, oh my God, there were so many things that were like, no way. No. Yeah. It was so funny. <laughs> It's just so funny. Anyway, that's a good Disney week. You kind of took mine, but yeah. whatever. Um, Sorry. Yeah. I mean, you don't own just... She-Hulk. I own She-Hulk. I have a copy of the first issue. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. So well done. So well done. Love. Yes. Love. How was your it. yours Disney week? I don't know what the plural of yours. Yeah. I don't know. I'll, I think, Use guys. I do, ones. do you want to do yours? Did oh, you... I get to do one. Yeah. I don't know what guests are allowed to do. There, well, I guess you don't listen to the podcast. What? I, to be fair, I that. also oh. don't listen to the podcast. <laughs> yeah, but you know the guests share their Disney week. Yeah, because I'm so performing. Well, uh, okay, can I go back just a little over a week? Yeah. Because I was uh, at Disneyland and right. California Adventure. Yeah. And had a great time. I got to see the Marvel Land. It's called the Adventure. Oh, you hadn't seen it. That's there. right. No. But I can't share because she's not seen it. But I had a great time. And yeah, wow. And I love going to the parks in the morning because no one's there. And by mm -hmm. about 11 or 12, run screaming away. But I, I have to say there's one thing that I saw that is disturbing if I understood 
what it was, is the whole area between California Adventure and Disneyland. Fireworks time, people are camped out on blankets. That amazes me. Yeah, I'm like, you can't, it's hard to walk through there. So I can't I'm believe like, Disney allows food. people to just camp out there. Yeah, so I don't, I'm like, I, I'm assuming they were not waiting to get into the park because they were sitting on their blankets and stuff. So they were there to watch the fireworks, according to I my mean, daughter. I, so. I admired folks who were like, yeah, I'm not paying to go into Disney. I can just sit here and, and watch the fireworks. And the music is yeah. out there too, right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It totally makes sense. I get it. Maybe, I get it. Yeah. Like, I will actually think of doing that because occasionally I go down there and I don't have a ticket. So, you know, yeah, I, I, it just feels right weird that Disney allows it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they went and swept them all up when, after we left. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I could, if, if they did, I would, I, it's probably a PR thing, right? Like they don't want the story of Disney getting rid of people. You know, no, that would so. be bad. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. I've never seen something like that before. So, but, well, yeah, to be fair, awesome. when we go, we're generally like inside the parks. That's true. That's true. That's true. Well, oh, oh sorry. Can I share one other thing? Uh, guests only get one thing. No, I, go ahead. No, go it's ahead. that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Which is, I was mentioning how awesome the crowds are in the morning because there's nobody there. We, we did uh, Disneyland in the morning, nobody there left. Went back to the hotel or whatever, came back that night. It was so crowded when we were leaving, they opened up backstage. Oh, wow. And, oh, wow. Yeah, like, I've had that happen only once in, since I, when I've been there. I mean, it was neat walking around backstage and then you come out by, by the fire station or whatever. But mm -hmm. I'm like, what is even happening? I'm like, you, there are too many people in here. So, anyway, it's so well, and I felt like the crowds have been consistent since they reopened. Like it used to be, there was down times and there's up times, but it's, it's just always crowded now. That's yeah. why Disney raised the prices again, right? So we mm -hmm. can, it can control the crowds, except it's not going to because everybody can pay whatever Disney. Asks. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I will never buy another. Oh, come on, who are we kidding? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Come on. I, I, I can't even say I it. I can't even finish the sentence. Come on. <laughs> but I'm like in a stunned I'm, state. I'm literally I, going I'm next Thursday. So. <laughs> I didn't know you were going next Thursday. Yeah, I'm taking my uh, nephew, Jake. Jake Alfred. Right. His yes, middle name is, right, is right, he's right. named after me, not my dad. Um, my uh -huh, dad sure, would say yeah. something different. Um, yeah. yeah, we're going to Oogie Boogie Bash uh, uh, next Thursday. Yeah. So. Can't wait to hear all about it. Yeah, Very cool. excited. I mean, I've it. never been to, I think I think I went with you guys to the Mickey's Holiday in Disney World. But other than that, I haven't yes, been to one of yes. those like special, mm -hmm. special night thingies. From what I understand, yeah. it's really just a lot of trick-or-treating and like a couple of special yep. shows and stuff like that. So, yep. Yep. But you'll have fun. Jake will have fun and you'll have fun with him. Oh, yeah. Well, when you're the uncle yeah. of the nephew, you just try to give your my sister and my brother-in-law a little bit of time. <laughs> like my whole goal is, I'll watch Jake for a few minutes. <laughs> That's awesome. for a few minutes. How lovely of you! <laughs> oh. Hey, look, I didn't choose to have kids; she did. That's true. That's true. Oh man, that's true. That's true. All right. What about so your Disney, Disney week, Andy? Um. We have talked about Ed a lot on the podcast, but you might not know that his position, um, which makes us the money in our house, is to work with businesses and strategically plan for these businesses. So we have in the past planned for our Disney trips. We have a Disney World trip coming up in November. We are going for Thanksgiving to go visit our uh, youngest daughter who is doing the Disney College program there, uh, Emma our other cast member daughter and her boyfriend, Fernando, who's not a cast member and has never been to Disney world. Uh, we are all going in November for Thanksgiving. So da, 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 Mr. Man has figured out like the ultimate planning of all planning of Disney trips. So forget <laughs> the Excel spreadsheet. That is just too, uh, 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 basic for our needs. So, um, he had a thing. It was actually two nights, and um, we're still not done. And Fernando thinks we're all crazy. He's like, "Why aren't we just walking in?" Not and to be fair, he's not wrong. 
No, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not for wrong. For this particular reason, but, you know. But uh, for anybody who does use, like, a mural whiteboard type software program, um, this is where Ed led us. And, and you know, definitely everybody's got their favorites and their second favorites and their third favorites. And he's plugging them all into the, yeah. So it's a thing. It's a thing. It's much more planned than we probably ever had before. That's hard to believe. You're pretty big on the planning. So now we've got now we've got this um, you know boyfriend in the mix who's never been to Disney World. So they're going to want to do all the things where Ed and I are like, eh, let's do a little bit of the things. And then um, you got Annika <laughs> working in there. So we'll we'll, we'll it's figure not, this out. It's so it's different when we were in January. I was your X Factor. It's not super different, is it? Uh huh. It's super different. You've been before. This um, is true. You are also in the mode, the age mode that we're in, where it's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. let's go slow, let's go whenever uh, we can. I don't know about we. I would say Ed and I were in a good mode, and the three of I, you were in speed mode. <laughs> I was excited to show you everything, and I wanted to do it really, really quickly. So, okay. So anyway, anyway, okay. So that was that was our Disney week for sure. But um, <laughs> but um, so it's a good thing that we have Ed on here today, though. Um, talking before we go on our Disney World trip, and the fact that he just got back from a Disneyland trip. Um, I had mentioned that Ed is our strategic planner. Um, he uh, uh, always does a process improvement. Like afterwards, okay, what can we do better? What do we not do? What he makes a list. Like, what do we need to bring next time? Coffee folders, you know. Via Starbucks, via whatever. Um, so, another thing you need to know about Ed, I'll tell you everything. Um, some people have obsessions yeah, with, you know, shoes or whatever. You have a, Al has obsessions with collectibles in the background. Al or uh, Ed, since I've known him, has had an obsession with bags. Not like, I mean, some, people, some like women like collect like Judy and Bert, Bert, Purses. He's on the search to find the perfect bag. The perfect bag does not exist, but that does not stop him for the last like 30 years. And you know, it is trying to find the perfect bag. Is it a big backpack? Is it smaller? Not big enough. How many pockets? Not enough pockets. Where's the water? Bottle? Blah, blah, blah. And so Ed is always in the mode when we go on Disney trips of finding the perfect gear. To I have to say, I disagree that there's not a perfect bag. I haven't found it yet, but I also think at some point I'm going to find a bag that has a pocket for every single perfect thing that I want and is perfectly suited for my trips. We are talking 30 years of bag shopping. <laughs> so I don't know. And he's still like, I thought he got it pretty close this time. No. And no. He thought he did beforehand. So, um, Mr. Zimmerman, I as for, our for, uh, guest. If you're if you're trying to convince me, I spent $175 on a Kickstarter for a perfect Comic-Con bag. So I, I don't know if I'm going to... I think I might be leaning towards the yeah. side because it's perfect. It's got these pockets just for some for graded comics, some for bra comics, and then a pocket perfectly sized for your for your comic book price guide. It's awesome. And it's got a sketch from Jim Lee. It's awesome. But no, you're, you're probably right. I, I'm sure it's ridiculous. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i want to have ed to what would the perfect what would perfect gear what would perfect look like to you and where have the bags that you've had before or the gear that we've had before where has that where has the mistake been and that it hasn't been the perfect one you thought it was going to be that's a pretty broad question it is so okay. gear in general or just bags for disney for disney gear in general gear in, okay so yeah. so here's here's rule number one Right. And it's not it's not like people don't know this, but um, practice it, focus on it. Right. Is it is a hike. Right. Like you're walking 15, 20,000 steps a day. Right. So like treat it like you're a runner or a hiker and shop at those places. Right. So whether it's, it's your shoes, certainly. But for me, it comes down to like moisture wicking clothing. So, so I'll shop at places like REI or, or anywhere that's, that's, that's exercise related or hiking or outdoor related because their gear is amazing, right? So I have, I have moisture wicking uh, shorts that I bought at REI that are, are light, they're cool, they're comfortable, and 
um, if they get wet, say on, I don't know, a water ride that <laughs> perhaps you might go on again someday, they dry like this, right? Like they dry right away. So, so for me, like that's like the, 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 the focus is that way. Um, but yeah, if you think about what those, those stores are about, all the manufacturers of the products there, they're very much about, um, high performance gear, lightweight gear, uh, gear for all weather conditions. And so, so for me, that's, that's like the focus and, and, um, so, so that's clothing wise and, and they certainly have gear otherwise as well. Um, but, but that's, a, that's a big one for me is the whole moisture wicking, um, you know, clothing you're going to get at an REI or runner, runners, you know, place something like that. Um, and so that's, that's one piece. Um, then there's other things that like, for example, this hat. So you should always have a hat, right? Well, this particular hat by outdoor research is a cooling hat. So if you can kind of see, I don't know how well you can see. On YouTube, you can see. Yeah. On the podcast, you can see. Yeah. So. so anyway, but it's got a loose mesh underneath a, a cover. And again, it's moisture wicking stuff, but it allows air to run through when you're wearing right. this hat. Um, so, so again. I, I can this, tell you how many hats I've worn all day at a Disney park that are my favorite hat. And so that's why I wore it. And then it's ruined by the end of the day because it's just like salted. Yeah. Like it's just a ring of salt around the hat from all the sweat I did. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And these, a lot of these things are super compressible. So they, they, they ball up really small. Um, this though, I have to say is my prized possession. Yep. Because I hate having stuff in my pockets. So my goal is to wear my awesome moisture wicking hiking shorts and have nothing in my pockets because it bugs me. So I have a runner's wallet. So throw this on your wrist, hold right. your cash, your ID, your credit card, maybe some, you know, ibuprofen, but it goes on your, on your wrist. And now you have nothing in your pockets other than maybe your phone, which as Andy well knows, I try to get away from with just my watch and not mm -hmm. my phone. Okay. Side note. A uh, side note on the marriage thing. Um, so Ed thinks that the Apple Watch that um, with cellular is like the best thing ever made, right? You don't need your phone anymore. You can just have your watch, right? So he'll go, I don't need my phone. Then I'll go, you know, just with my watch. No big deal. Inevitably, he'll need to look up something on the internet or he'll need to get a picture. <laughs> Or yeah. whatever. So he's always like, he's always like that. Give me your phone. Can I, can I borrow your phone? Can I see your phone? I need to look up something. Can I see your phone? I'm like, free your day phone. <laughs> okay. That was a side <laughs> note. Continue. Yeah. So, um, so, uh, what else? Oh, um, AirPod cases are great mm -hmm. little storage things to hold little things. So for example, uh, yeah. Right. So I have this and I just have some Tums and some ibuprofen in there. Now, I did find, though, speaking of process improvement, I love this. It's awesome. I've got, like, just little stuff in there, and it's all compact and not wandering around. Um, they have to look at this at bag check. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. It's oh, the bag man. check thing. I don't know why. Now, I, so, like, mm. Yep, yep. So, so and here's I, the thing. I, uh, As a single person, I often don't have a bag. But I still have to wait for bag check because they don't have like a I don't have a bag line, and so bag check drives me particularly nuts. Yeah, I do have. I just, I, unlike you, I don't mind pocket stuff, so I have cargo shorts with all sorts of doodads and stuff yeah. in them. But yeah, I get it. Yeah. So so that was just funny because I waltzed in with my bag, which I'll talk about in a minute, and I had this little bag inside because I'm really organized. And not only did they have to look at that, they had to have me zip this open so they could see inside this. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I'm like foiled again. Um, so uh, what else? Always good to have coffee. I went through different nice. iterations. But now I'm under the Via, really small. As our listeners well know, the best snack at Disneyland. Yeah. <laughs> but throw a few of these in your bag just in case you need a little caffeine boost. All you need is water. You don't know how many times. Like, coffee is really important to us. Um, we are the people. I am the person that needs that coffee before even talking to anybody in the morning. So different hotels have different coffee things. Some have the Keurig, mm -hmm. right, where you just put the little pod in there. But if they don't clean your room every day, you're out of those Keurigs in one morning. Pretty quick, um, yeah. 
Some have the other kind of pods that are already pre-filled that you put in there. Some, like when we go to the DVC Deluxe Resorts, those are going to be regular coffee pods. But then you don't know if the filter, you have to get the filter for it. So is the filter going to be the flat kind or the cone kind? And no matter what, we'll write it down, right? Because you've got process improvement, dude, to, to write everything down so you remember. But it changes everything. So Via has, like, proven to be really good. I like it. Yeah, it tastes good. And no matter where you are, you I mean, it's better than, like, that. I think when we were kids, like, the instant coffee Seika oh, stuff was yeah. awful. <laughs> That's My totally sister, who lived with me for a little while, had this weird thing where she was so used to drinking instant coffee that she preferred that, and I would make like an actual pot of coffee, and she wouldn't like it. I was like, I don't understand oh, no, you. No, no. Well, that's bad, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah, 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 pretty much. So, okay, yeah, so Via is pretty good. Yeah. Um, okay, so bag. Well, this is my latest bag iteration. I'm very excited yeah. to see it. Patagonia. Patagonia sling. Nice. Bag. Look, and it's at one shoulder lot. kind of deal. Yeah, one shoulder. Um, I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. Um, and this is close, but still no cigar. Um, what? And, so what? Okay, tell us what it was that made it that you thought was going to be perfect. Because this is his latest bag that he bought for a Disney trip. This this is better than any bag I've had. However, there are not enough. There are no organizer pockets inside. Mm. So so there are just two big pockets. Now what's nice is they're padded, right? So so if for some reason like I can fit my a small iPad in here if I needed to or whatever. It's all padded. And there's two separate things there. Um, and then it's got a front pocket that's just a pocket. Um, so so kind of three pockets, but that's it. I would have liked to have seen Patagonia put like a couple of like zippered pockets inside, like zippered mesh pockets or something. Um, but I you know I, I spent entirely too much time looking for a small sling bag that had that level of organization and could not find anything. And in fact, I ordered a few and they were not as good as this one. That he did. Um, he did order a lot of bags before this recent Disney trip yeah, and yeah. Uh, sent some back. But this one's nice too. It's got a little zipper thing on the part that goes on your shoulder here. Nice. So phone goes in here. Phone size. I like that. Yep. yep. It's per perfect for the phone. And then, you know, a little little hand sanitizer. So this is a, a good bag. And then I've got a, um, a small eight ounce water bottle um, that um, I kind of, they've got these straps on the outside. So I kind of hook, hook it in here. Um, that way the water bottle's not inside with other stuff. So I do like this bag a lot, um, but you know, you're carrying a bag. So it means you get to go to a bag check. Yay. Um, but this is super Yeah, but light. that's once in the um, day, right? Like yeah, that's yeah, once yeah. in the morning and, and then you're done. Yeah, and all of these things, I mean, going back to the outdoor stores, the running stores, that kind of stuff, all this stuff is like water resistant, if not waterproof. It's it's all moisture wicking material. It's set up so that, you know, if you're sweating on your back or whatever, there's air channels on the back. Um, so again, you know, it, for anybody that slogged through Disney World or Disneyland, especially in summer, um, it's, you know, it's a, it's a hike in hot water, water and you're sweating to death. And, and so for me, this kind of gear, shopping that and getting this kind of gear, just getting, you know, organized enough, getting a smaller, for me, a smaller sling bag that you can't overpack, right? So it kind of forces you to not take a lot of stuff. Um, but there's so many great travel and leisure uh, website is another great website for like different products and stuff. But it's for me, it's about like minimalist take, you know, small, like I don't have to take a whole bottle of ibuprofen. I'm going to take, right. you know, Enough for the day. I see that is yeah. you hit upon like my biggest problem is I overthink things like okay I'm gonna need a bottle a, a water bottle I'm gonna need this and what if this happens and I need a power pack in case the because I know through a day at Disney that I've never I just got the new iPhone Pro and this is maybe the only one that I trust maybe is gonna last all day especially if you're gonna be on the phone all day with the uh, my Disney Experience app right uh, exactly. so right like so I always take. I've gotten it down to the point where I'm like, I'm going to take a phone and I'm going to take a charger and maybe like some, some ibuprofen or, or Advil or Tylenol or whatever. And yeah. anything else, I'm just going to get there. Right. Like yeah. cups of water are free. Right. Like, but I love the idea of just being minimalist. And I always feel like I want, and I love the over the shoulder sling bags. 
because they're so minimalist and they don't weigh you down like a full on backpack where your whole back is just like a mound of sweat at the end of the day. Yep. Um, okay. So we're saying all this, mind you, that we are traveling with adult children now, but we have had our day where we have had the backpack because it's been the diaper bag. Right. And you have right. the stroller where you have to put the stuff in the stroller. Um, You're describing the trip I'm about to make next week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's seven, so, so it won't be a stroller. Right. But. <laughs> even then, even then, Ed was on the lookout for the perfect diaper bag, right? Like, that was actually a backpack. It wasn't an actual mm -hmm. diaper yeah. bag, here's, right? Here's like, a secret he hasn't people. told you. He's still on the lookout for it, and he's just, he's got to find it, is all. You don't need it anymore, <laughs> but if he finds it, he's getting it. You, you laugh. My backpack that I take on the plane, like, for my laptop or whatever, and, and they don't... <laughs> I found it close to the perfect bag. Mountain Smith makes it. And it's got a million pockets. It's highly organized. It's perfect. And I probably bought it 15 years ago. And it finally gave out. And I can't find another one that's similar. There you go. So there's this thing called <laughs> eBay. And guess what I found mm -hmm. on eBay? A brand <laughs> new one of those that was from 15 years ago that nobody opened. And I'm like, yes, please. Um, yep. So yeah, so I have my favorite bring on the plane backpack is a backpack that hasn't been made in over a decade. And I cannot find because when you find it. Yeah, I, like it's like my Comic Con bag. It's perfect. And no other bag will do. Yeah, it's well, built you know, like, for that purpose. Even like with, with my, you know, weirdness around not wanting stuff in my pockets, I have this sling bag in my wrist wallet. I have nothing in my pockets because my phone's, you know, right here. But the phone's super accessible. If I need to, you know, buy something, super accessible on my wrist. Like, I don't have to get in the sling bag very often. I mean, what's really in there is, you know, a little tiny first aid kit or some ibuprofen. Maybe like, sunscreen? Hate. Sunscreen is in there, a very small one. Um, but, yeah, it's – it's so, so for me, like, having the sling bag, it's not heavy. It's got the stuff in it that I might need or I occasionally need. But the stuff that I'm going to be reaching for all the time is either in my wrist wallet or my phone right here, right? Unzip, well, and out, that, that leads into a question. And we, we know some people, some of our listeners are folks who are planning trips to Disney that have never been. So what is the minimum you think you need to take? And this goes to like, hey, the sling bag, that's it, to be able to last the day at a Disney park. Bare minimum. Bare minimum? Pills. Because I, I try to get minimum. minimum <laughs> <right>? <laughs> yeah. Let me see. I'm I mean, small amount of Tums, ibuprofen, and Excedrin. <laughs> Honestly, there. pain reliever. Like, it goes to your earlier point, Ed, about, like, the footwear. One of the things that I discovered recently is I actually stopped taking hiking boots because hiking boots are made for rough terrain and walking. And what I realized right. is I needed footwear that was for standing, not yes. walking. So yep. I started looking like tennis shoes that had heavy padding that really like saved my feet. Because I remember last time I was there, I was just standing in line for Rise of the Resistance for an hour and a half. And I was like, yeah, these hiking boots aren't getting it, right? Yeah. So yeah. minimally, right? Like thinking of, of like, okay, I'm going to Disneyland and I don't want to be weighed down with a ton of crap. Right, and let's let's assume because all the parks have them now that you're using the uh, the, the 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 magic the band. magic band, right? Like, because that'll honestly, like when we were at Disney World, I was amazed at the magic band. I didn't really have to take my wallet most times. I still did because yeah. I'm anxiety ridden, but I didn't have to. Well, and if you have, this is even, I mean, you don't even need a magic band anymore because um, if you if you have an Apple Watch, if you have a smart watch, then um, you can write on your wallet. Uh, you get the pass right on your wallet on your on your uh, watch, so it yeah. acts like a magic band as well. And especially if you have Apple Pay. Now, uh, one third of us here on this podcast might need to take a couple of extra things in the bag that you guys don't ever but have really to worry light. about. Um, they're small so, and light. Um, they're yeah, but um, but you get but you get paid point eight three on the dollar. So oh, okay. <laughs> Right. That's how we make up for it. That equates out to the dollar is we give you cool stuff right. like that. 
<laughs> oh god okay don't even get me started anyway so we definitely but that i think that goes in the minimum right yeah right it has yeah. to go in the minimum yeah and so um but uh one thing too i want to mention is that if we're taking a sweatshirt or a jacket we tie it around our waist then so a lot of people like will take all that back or uh, sweatshirts and, and extra jackets and stuff and put it in the backpack so they are carrying around a little bit more of a bulky backpack um, I, even when the girls were little, they had their own little tiny little princess backpacks that they carried with them around the park. So they were yeah. very tiny and very light, but we would roll up their jackets and then um, they had it on them. But again, going back, I mean, to just, you know, like the, the sweatshirts, jackets, there's all sorts ponchos. of outdoor gear that's highly compressible. And yeah, light. ponchos mm -hmm. are compressible, that's true. Yeah. And yeah. so, so. Yeah, I mean, I even think about that that jacket I have when I was going back to Boston all the time. Mm -hmm. Thing, you know, compresses down to about that big, but it's right. super, super warm. Because what I'm thinking of is the number of times I did carry a backpack with all that stuff in it, and like six or seven at night, my back is done because yeah. I'm carrying. Oh, think about yeah, like you get on the ride, you're like, now I have this big backpack. I gotta try to. You know, in fact, with this sling, a lot of the rides, I could put it, you know, they have the little uh, mesh pocket in the roller coaster mm -hmm. rides and stuff. It fits in there. Mm -hmm. So I can just smush it in there. Um, but, yeah, I, I think I think the, the big backpacks, I mean, it's just, it, it's maybe a little psychological, but it allows you to do what you were saying, Al. It's like, oh, I could just throw that in there. I could just throw that. Oh, I might need mm -hmm. this. And all of a sudden, you're carrying a ride of 20 pounds. Right. Um, it's like, and, uh, it's yeah. like when I travel. It's like, I need my laptop and my iPad. No, right. you don't, right. <laughs> but, yeah. but you do. Right. Like I just, that trip I took last week, I had my laptop, my iPad, two different phones, right? And the whole time I'm in the airport, like, oh God, help me, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. One thing to know too is um, if you do end up having a lot of stuff to carry around with you and you're not having the stroller with the little kids, don't forget that the parks have lockers um, at the front of the parks. We've had to make use of those um, sometimes when when the weather has like dropped, when it's like when it is hot and you and then it does drop at night and you do need that more bulky kind of layering. Yeah. Uh, lockers have been proved. I mean, those have yeah. proved to be helpful. Um, when and I will say. Them. For folks who haven't been to the parks a lot, I know in Anaheim this is true. I would imagine it's likely true at certain times of the year in uh, Orlando uh, uh, that the distinction between how hot it can be during the daytime and how cold it can get at night can be yeah. significant. Yeah, um, for sure. uh, so I think I, I also would want somebody to try to be minimal so much that they're like freezing to death at night, especially yeah. like standing yeah, out, outside of Rivers of America. You know. Yeah. Like being miserable would not be good. But but I like your what you were saying earlier, Al, about you know, there are certain things that you're just like, I might maybe, maybe need it. But guess what? You can buy it. Yeah, is it expensive in Disney Park? Yeah. I'm sure a bottle of ibuprofen is not cheap inside Disneyland. Right. Wait, but, time right. out, time out. But, Don't forget, guys, the first aid centers, you can go there. Yeah. You have a headache. And That's true. You have little tiny packets that they'll give to you. Yeah, there you go. Um, so there don't you go. buy yeah. thirty bottle bottle or thirty dollar bottle of yeah. ibuprofen. Yeah, yep. vitamin or a vitamin. Checking. Yeah, we know. <laughs> That's a good call. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, that's a really good call. They want you to save that money for the t-shirts and the churros and the, and the turkey legs. <laughs> Man, I haven't eaten and dinner yet, and I want a churro and a turkey and, leg. And coffee, Starbucks. Three. The popcorn buckets. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, the popcorn, popcorn buckets. Well, you got to get the popcorn buckets. Yeah. But I can't help but, you with minimalist approach if you buy a popcorn, plastic popcorn. There's no, way, there's no way to minimize the popcorn bucket, the figment popcorn <laughs> bucket. <laughs> Especially if, say, you're going to get more than one at a time. Which Well, and the other might. thing, and you both are parents, so I think you'll appreciate this, but this has definitely happened to me. That if you take a backpack and the rest of your party knows you take a backpack, it gives the rest <laughs> of your party the excuse uh, in your purse. to not take, well, yeah. And my wallet and my phone and my lipstick and, and my brush. Can I all fit in your purse? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it can't. 
Uh, yeah, I've definitely taken dates to Disneyland where they were like, this is going to mess up my outfit, but you carry a backpack. Well, and you said yes, happily. Yes, happily, because that's who I am. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. I mean, let's, it. let's be clear. Let's all know who I am. If it were me asking. <laughs> yeah, you've got a husband. I, I got nothing for you. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. I uh, I do like uh, Al what you were saying earlier though about the shoes, um, mm-hmm. and and a lot, a lot of these outdoor um, stores have a lot of like you know you know walking type shoes, mm-hmm. great selection, right? But the other thing too is like just watch people that have professions where they stand all day and figure mm-hmm. out what they're wearing, right? Yeah. Because nurses, yeah. nurses, yeah. Know nurses know how to doctors. get your stand. They're not going to be attractive, but their feet are going to feel good. <laughs> Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the and shoes aren't going to be attractive, not the nurses. I, that's a whole. Let me just no, but, clarify yeah, yeah. in case there are any nurses listening. Yes. Of Your well, shoes are so, my and then Let me ask you because not only if you're looking at Disney World, not so much Disneyland, but if you're looking at Disney World, what shoe are you looking for? Because you know the downpours come often. Ah, and that's the trick. You can have like a really like nice morning, and all of a sudden two o'clock will come, and like all the water of the world will pour down. And flood the street of Hollywood Studios. So, what do you do? Well, that's a great question. But I'll go back to my answer on all of this: is if you go to an outdoor store <laughs> like REI, who sells all sorts of manufacturer things like Merrells and Keens, they have a wide range of shoes. Anything like Al, you're talking like rugged hiking boots. Nope, you don't want that. They're heavy and they're not, that's not what they're meant for, right? right? Because what they're built for is to keep out the elements. But I like what you're saying, which is like moisture wicking, lights, because you're going to be walking on them all day, but something that can stand up to the standing, right? Yeah, and they have a lot of different products. And and I look at like Keen and Merrill, but there are many manufacturers that do this stuff that that are meant for like, you know, river type hiking. Mm -hmm. and, And so you'll see anything from sandals to clothes sandals that are meant to get wet because they dry quickly. Right. Um, e- even if you, um, uh, you know, stash an extra pair of socks or something in, in you know, that small compact. Um, but again, if you, if you start looking at that and, and you start realizing, like, I think one of the last trips, the Keens I have are not waterproof, but they're heavily water resistant. And, other people's feet were getting wet after the downpour and mine were completely dry. Well, and that's like, if you do like the girls and they were growing up, we would buy them those keen Newport. They were kind of closed toed sandals, but they were meant mm-hmm. to get wet. Yeah. And yeah. so I had the target he's, um, which are meant to get wet or the Arroyos. I know this makes no sense to you if you're not keen people, but I will show it on YouTube. So I will list them on the show notes. All of this stuff will be listed on the show notes. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, look for that people, not yeah. me, but people wear Crocs. People think that they're comfortable. Everybody knows. I'm telling you, the first time I saw a, a pair of Crocs was in your mom's feet and I didn't know what I, what I was saying. And I didn't say anything. <laughs> 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 but I, I can't say that they're not comfortable. I've never worn them. So. Everybody I says am. they're remarkably comfortable and I am okay. of an age. I am of an age where. Like a year ago, if you would have said Crocs are super comfortable, but they're ugly, I'd have been like, I'm not wearing those. And at 53, I'm like, how comfortable? Because, <laughs> you know. Well, they also call your, them in the park. Well, yeah. But to your point, Ed, I also think a, a big thing to do is, and it doesn't take up a lot of space, extra pair of dry socks. Like yeah, yeah. halfway through the day, switch out to a, particularly if you your feet have gotten a little bit wet. Pair of dry socks will make you a new person, I think. Like I I when I get home from work, I change my socks. It is just yeah. you know, this is one of my soapboxes. Socks are awesome. If I ever become a millionaire, sort of the one like crazy millionaire pr- thing I'll do is every single day a pair of new socks that have never been worn. That's my crazy millionaire dream. I know I need to dream bigger, wow. but that must yeah. that just must be heaven. <laughs> New yeah, pair of socks every day. You wore one time. Can you wash them and give them to um, maybe some of our houseless friends? Because that's the number one thing that they request. Besides food. Yeah. Sure. Well, I, I don't care where they go. If they want to wear my <laughs> clean socks, go right ahead. Now, let's be clear to our listeners. I am not a millionaire. So the current <laughs> socks I own 
are washed and reworn until they fall apart. <laughs> but in this hypothetical world where I'm a millionaire, sure, they can have my old socks. Fantastic. But, Fantastic. but the, it, 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 feet, like number one. Like besides yeah. maybe like one tan lotion, feet, number one. And, yeah. and even if, if, whether it's an extra pair of socks, which takes up no room, or some, an, an, this is going to sound crazy, but another set of super lightweight shoes, mm -hmm. right? In case yeah. your shoes get wet, you could swap them out. Yeah, in your suitcase. No, like I'm talking with you. Like, like think about like, like let's say you're like, it's going to rain or you're going to go on Cali River Rapids or something like that. Put on some aqua socks. Oh, that you are carry tiny, in your sling bag. Are, yeah, just swap them out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I think there's a lot of options, but I, I, mean, I think you're right, Al. Like, the, the, if someone's feet, when you're walking that much and standing that much, yeah. that's going to be the number one. Honestly, or, as, I've gotten, um, as I've gotten older, that's the thing that, that is the most impactful to me at Disneyland is all the walking. And Ed and I, really, from our last trip to Disney World, like, it was the walking. It was the walking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was dead. <laughs> What's what the rule? The rule is whenever you can sit down, sit down. A hundred thousand percent. <laughs> if you're standing in a queue for a line and there's a little place to kind of sit, you might only sit for like a couple seconds. Geriatric tips for Disney, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We've now changed the focus of our podcast. We will not Look, be arguing anymore. I, I have never needed a diaper bag. Who knows? Ten years from now, I might need to bring a diaper bag for myself. I'm still going to the park. <laughs> Well, that's all, all your listeners that have kids are like, we hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> all that kids that you're talking about is heat and everything, but we still have about 20 pounds worth of stuff to carry for the kids. I yeah, know. and I do I feel know. for the folks with the kids. It's just, an, I mean, that's, you know, you guys know, I don't have kids, but you guys know, if you don't have that binky, there's going to be a problem. Oh, we know. Yes, yep. we, know. Yep. we know. And you think you have enough diapers with you. But you never have enough diapers with you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me just help you with this one, too. Remember, next to the first day station, there is usually a mother station. Well, not, I shouldn't even say it's a mother station because that's not fair. It's a, it's a child care station. There you go. Um, and it is full of formula and diapers and um, diaper rash cream and everything you need there. Um, I made use of that a ton when the girls were little. Not so much for them, but when we were with a crowd of people, it was nice to just have that little alone time to be rocking in silence. <laughs> and, then, and then you could join the people again. Anyway, yes, that was that. So, I don't know. Any more tips? Mm. Any last tips? Oh, one, one, one that didn't work out for me, but I think work, can work out for people, is the hydration packs. Mm. Um, if you can find the right one. Uh, and, and, and I used one for, for a little while, um, and ultimately it was just it was a little too big. It was a little too heavy um, to, when you put that much water. So you can find one that holds not, you know, two gallons of water. Yeah. Uh, but what's cool is when I had the hydration pack, you, you know, go into a Starbucks, like you're in California, swing by the Starbucks, get, a, get water and a, a cup of ice, fill it up in your hydration pack, and you're good to go. Um, so I, so I do like the convenience of that. Plus you've got the little thing that you can just whip out, take a drink really fast. Um, but yeah, a small one is key. Yeah. I will say my last trip to Disneyland, even though I knew all of the places to get free water, even with that, I got a little dehydrated just because, you know, it's, yeah. it's hard to like remember, Hey, I need to keep drinking water because it's pretty warm when I was there. And, you, you know, if you got the hydration pack, it's right there, hit a water, you're in good shape. Yep. yep. Yeah. I'm I'm a first world problem girl, but I can't stand the taste of a hydration pack. I can't stand the taste of that plastic straw. Ugh. I don't like it. So. Well, to be clear, everything we're talking about is a first world problem. Yes. <laughs> I need the perfect AirPods <laughs> carrier for my <laughs> uh, Developing countries are going to be like, yeah, I'm not going to take the Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have shoes. All right. I don't agree All with right. that. Oh. It's really my fashion style. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, the dog is telling us to go, and I'm sure our listeners are as well. So if you are watching on YouTube, you listen to my dog right there. That's four. Um, 
if you're watching Gotham. on YouTube, and that's Gotham, we ask that you, yeah, you can go get Thor. Thor, come here. Come say hi to the people. Yeah, special yeah. guest stars. And then we get, yeah, guest dog. Um, man, he is such a daddy's dog, too. Um, okay, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe yeah. at the little button right there. Leave a comment. That. Let us know what your perfect thing to take is, the gear that you take uh, to the Disney park, um, or any questions that you have about anything that we've talked about today. Um, we can expand on that as well. Um, you can find us anywhere that you listen to podcasts. Please leave a review wherever you do. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter and Insta at Do. Dueling Disney, or you can go to Facebook and join our community group, Dueling Disney Community Duelists, where we all share our fun and games. And what else do we share there? We share, I don't know, happy pictures. So wisdom, <laughs> knowledge, well, a little bit of wisdom, but definitely some happy pictures. And so we thank you for Duelists for um, continuing to be part of the community and uh, letting us know how you feel about each episode. Thank you. Coming soon to video cassette, the magic, the music, the masterpiece. One of Walt Disney's greatest podcasts is coming your way on video. Dueling Disney.